We are going to proceed with the use of the chemicals here, and you're going to have to let that sit for a good amount of time. Let me do one more now. And of course, I ride bicycles everywhere. I said, well, if you may know, in addition to me being an organist, I do ride bicycles because it's very good exercise and gets you So yeah. If you can't find your hole, keep looking really good because you're going to find that hole eventually. And we did right there. So now we are going to, we're now ready to Could be very fumish and fumish, so be very, very careful how you use this stuff. And like I said, these can be some pretty nasty fumes. You want to squirt just enough to make sure you. You want to squirt just this enough right here, as you can see. I'm going to give you a closer look. And finally, I'm going to give you a close-up of this on how you do this. Oh, it's going to tip off by the way, so like this. Pull oh, that part aside as you can. And you wait a good 22, 20, 24 hours for this jank to dry up. And then you're going to remove this part. And be careful about slipping off. So, and it's okay if it does because look, you kind of want it to be sticking. And the way you want the super glue stuff to stick in the end because you're going to be using it.
make sure it's secured. Okay, make sure this is firmly in place. And you should probably wait. I need I think directions to you on here. Okay. This is a vulcanized fluid. And it's been a lot minutes since I have to done stuff like this, so yeah. You're gonna hold this and you're gonna wait, I would say like good 12 to 24 hours because you want to get us to seal really good before you ride. And in my next video tutorial we're going to show you how to replace your bicycle inner tube. Till then, have be safe, ride safe, have fun, and go bicycle joyriding.